Detroit has the Riverwalk, basketball courts in campus, Marcia's mm -hmm. Eastern Market, and so much more. Yes, we do. Plenty of places to get out and do yeah. some walking, play some hoops, but apparently it's not helping enough. We are still not falling. Enough. We're still falling way behind in the climb to become a fit city compared to cities across the United States. Will Jones? Our equipped with his, uh, with, equipped with his jump there rope this morning out at Campus Marsh's Park is hoping to, to help us get off of this uh, bottom of the list category <laughs> Let's here. Let's see if he can go through the whole live shot like that. <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, stop talking. I need to get to my intro. I'm running out of breath, guys. <laughs> Rhonda and Jason, uh, as many of our viewers are eating breakfast this morning, they're probably going to want to rethink what's on their plate because Detroiters are unhealthy. We have a lot of work to do. The American College of Sports Medicine looks at a wide variety of health indicators for their annual ranking, like smoking, diagnosis of asthma and heart disease, even access to dog parks and fresh local fruit and vegetables. In Washington, D.C., Minneapolis, and San Diego are their top three fittest cities. If you walk out onto the Washington Mall at noon, Tourists can't get around because there's so many people exercising, so many people walking and jogging. Detroit comes in at 40th on the list, up from 43 from last year. Here's what's holding us back, the high rates of obesity and diabetes and people who smoke. It's not all bad for Detroit. The city has more farmers markets, baseball diamonds, and parks per capita. Indianapolis ranks last, 50 out of 50 cities. The city has higher rates of chronic diseases like obesity and diabetes and a lower likelihood of regular exercise. You'll find that the lowest ranked city, cities have the fewest number of farmers markets. We're back here live at Campus Marshes. There's a lot of things you can do here at lunchtime. You can play basketball, you can do some volleyball, you could uh, grab the jump rope. I'm done jump roping for uh, uh, the morning I got my workout in. So Detroiters, let's get active. That's what we should learn from this study. And we improved from last year. Last year we were 43rd. This year we're 40th. So Rhonda and Jason, back to you. Well, <laughs> sadly, I'm uh, a little upset to see you give up so easily. Um, <laughs> I, I really jump uh, I don't back down for a challenge, Jason. I, I did. <laughs> Here we there go. go. Cause I have a oh, question to ask. Let's, let's try one more time. Here Please we go. Start again. Yes. Here now that go. okay. Now that you're exercising, and I see we're not getting enough. How little are we getting? Is he doing uh, the one? He's one foot in it. I saw that. Yeah, look, one foot. We're not getting enough. 70% of Detroiters exercised in the past 30 days. The target goal for this study is about 83%. Uh, all I know is Will Jones is amazing. I'm that impressed. is fantastic. Rocky Balboa over here. <laughs> he needs some of the Rocky music. I don't know about that. All right, Will. Thank you, sir.